Hey everybody, it's Noah here, and I just wanted to make a video that kind of updates you on where I'm at with Potion, just kind of give like a milestone of where I've gone with things, because you know, I've made lots of videos here on YouTube of little progresses, little updates, things to the product, different things I've done, or marking things I've done, and so I wanted to kind of just give a video here updating where I've gotten to with Potion. Um, and I actually did a tweet thread about this. And so, yeah, I'm pretty excited that Potion's gotten to 3,000 MRR. Um, I'm really happy with that. I think, so I, I launched Potion in February of 2021. I did a little bit of early access before then. So it's been like seven, eight-ish, seven months or so that I've been working on Potion. And so I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited with how far we've come. And so... I wanted to give a little bit of context of what's happened in the last month because this the last 30 days have been pretty good some pretty good growth i did have a little bit of a slowdown um this summer and i saw like a bit of more more churn than usual this summer and i don't know people talk about like the summer being kind of slow for SaaS, and maybe i felt that a little bit but i think also i was seeing some churn um from the couple of months before where i i had this big jump right here um, from like the product hunt launch and stuff. I think some of those people eventually turned out after like two or three months, um, which is sad to see, but it happens. It happens in SaaS. And so it actually, I, I went from um, 1K to 2K three times faster than what, what it did, what it took me to get from 2K to 3K MRR. So it's just kind of interesting how those things happen. And it's, you know, I try not to look at it too much because you can kind of get down if you look at like slowdowns and stuff like that. You just kind of just keep working at it. And I feel like that's that's best because I don't want to have my emotions and how I'm feeling based on my MRR. Um, so yeah, a lot of the things I've been working on over the last month or so has been improving onboarding, just making it as easy to get users from signing up to creating their first site so that they can see the value of Potion and keep using it. So I've made lots of improvements. One of the big things was Potion subdomains because setting up your DNS is kind of the most technical, difficult part. And so just taking that away by just already having that set up with Potion subdomains allowed users to just see the value right away instead of, you know, them having to set up their custom domain and all that, that stuff. Um, and I've just kind of continued to add new features throughout. So like this was a big, big one, password protected sites. And every time you have a new feature, it just gives you an opportunity to do like a little launch, um, you know, on Twitter or in other spaces and in the e my email newsletter to where people that maybe have been kind of just waiting around are finally seeing like, oh, there's there's new stuff or oh, there's finally the feature that I've been waiting for. And so it just gives you ways to market things. And so I've been, you know, just continuing to make Potion better, which is also great for existing users. And that's that's definitely helped. Um, and it helps, I think, with like word of mouth as well. <clears throat> So this was probably one of the best marketing things that I've done. I, I basically um, announced that I was going to up the pricing um, and I gave a week kind of notice of that. And that week I got, you know, lots of uh, people that upgraded their plan because they, you know, they didn't want to, they wanted more sites, um, but they didn't want to pay more for that. So they want to upgrade it so that they could have the, the cheaper price. And then I had just lots of new people trialing and, and starting to try out Potion because of, of this. And it's kind of, it kind of creates like a FOMO. So this, this worked super well out of all the like marketing things that I've done that worked really well. Um, and then this has been something that's helped a lot is and, and kind of helping word of mouth is Potion customers kind of launching their project that they're building on Potion. And some of those customers have been kind enough to like put in their website, like built with Potion or something like that. This was a case of that where this guy, he made a really cool side project um, website called don'tjustbuild.com and he built it with Potion and he, he launched it on a couple subreddits on, on Reddit and I think multiple of them, like two or three of them got like 300 upvotes and so a lot of people found Potion because of that and so just things like that, having customers that are kind of um, wanting to support Potion I think has gone a long way to help help with the growth. Um, and then this is something I'm always trying to do is just giving away value for free to um, the community, to other entrepreneurs, um, since, you know, entrepreneurs are kind of my, my target audience. Um, so this was something cool I was able to do where I partnered with Product Hunt 
um, to give away some, some sweet stuff one-on-one -on -one with Product Hunt, one-on-one -on -one with me, help giving feedback for their product and some Product Hunt swag. And so this was a really cool um, thing I was able to do with Product Hunt that got a decent amount of attention that, you know, it just helps build my personal brand, um, which I'm always trying to do, uh, you know, build a personal brand of helping others um, and kind of giving back. And that, that definitely goes, I think, a long way towards having my user base want to help support me in what I'm trying to do with Potion. So that's been good. And then I just kind of shared like I'm, what I'm going to try to keep doing. I'm going to kind of just try to keep doing what's been working so far, which is making the product better, adding new features, um, and then making um, videos and guides that help people learn how to use Potion. I think that's been really helpful. And, and it it hopefully gives some content that can be searchable by Google as well. Um, and then I'm just going to keep building in public because that's really what's helped me a lot, I think, get to this point is building in public and just tons of opportunities have come about because of me building in public. So I'm going to keep doing that as I'm talking about here. Um, some other things I do kind of want to focus on is um, optimizing C SEO, like trying to figure out how to make some content that gets searched for in Google, because I think that will be a more and more important thing. The more that there's more people on Notion and Notion grows, they're going to be searching for answers, searching for tools to help them with what they're trying to accomplish. So I think that will be important. And obviously, this is kind of an investment that will hopefully help out a lot in the, the future as, as uh, just there's more search volume. Um, and then another one is partnering with Potion Affiliates. Um, Partnering with people where you know they have incentive to share Potion because I'm going to pay them like 25% of the revenue of people they send my way. And I think this is a really good opportunity I have because there's lots of different Notion creators and people in the community in the space where if I can partner with them, um, it makes a lot of sense for us to work together. And so I'm, I think I'm really going to lean into this soon and try to get that really rolling and get some content creators that are kind of backing and partnering with, with Potion. Um, and then I kind of just finished off with um, that I've just learned a lot through this whole process. And, you know, a lot of it is just figuring out the right market, the right idea. Um, and if it's a valuable idea to just really just keep at it, keep learning, keep growing, keep building the product. And the cool thing with SaaS is that as you build, it kind of compounds like every customer that you get, you'll continue to build on top of that customer base every month. And um, so slowly but surely, I think that this business can become something that will pay for my my expenses and hopefully be my full-time thing since I, I still, this is just a side job right now, I still have a full-time job. And so that's really what I'm hoping to do. And um, I just thank all of you for supporting me along the way and I really appreciate it. So hopefully this has been fun to kind of look back and see how I've gotten to 3K MRR and I hope that it was helpful to some of you. Thanks.